Endometriosis is connected to many other medical conditions, including fibromyalgia. I spoke about their connection very briefly when I tackled the topic of can endometriosis cause joint pain. I'll link the video to that just in case you've missed it. Today, I'm going to get into details of this connection, the connection between endo and fibro. Now, please remember that nothing I say substitutes actual medical advice from a medical professional. So please seek a doctor for your personal case. As always, let's begin with the basics. Although I have explained what endometriosis is many times in previous videos, yet I feel it's always good to refresh our memory and see it in context with the main topic and that's fibromyalgia. If you wish to skip this explanation, then check out the timestamps in the description box so that you can move ahead. What is endometriosis? Now, endometriosis is a condition in which the lining of the uterus is found to be growing outside it. A few examples of where it can be found are the ovaries, fallopian tubes, bladder, chest, bowels, and more and more places. But there are rare cases of endometriosis being found in the brain as well. Basically, endometriosis can be found almost anywhere in the body and it will then disrupt the functioning of that organ or region. To explain briefly, endometriosis is when the lining of the uterus is found growing outside the uterus and as explained by Dr. Abhishek Mangeshkar, an endometriosis excision specialist, in my chat with him, he said, and I'm going to quote him, under the influence of hormones, there is inflammation which produces new blood vessels and which causes the capillaries in the surrounding tissues to rupture, bleeding, which leads to a cycle of repeated tissue injury and repair every month, which is known as fibrosis and scar tissue. Unquote. What is fibromyalgia? So a simplified explanation, fibromyalgia is an autoimmune disorder that causes fatigue and severe pain in the bones and muscles. So symptoms of fibromyalgia, there are um, multiple symptoms of fibromyalgia and it also may vary based on the additional medical issues you may be facing as some symptoms may be exacerbated because of this. But um, let me just give you a quick rundown of some of the symptoms and these are definitely not all of the symptoms. So there's um, fatigue, uh, pain and tiredness, fibrofog, which is um, a lack of concentration. Then there is stiffness, numbness, twitching, swelling and tingling of the hands and feet, um, or which is also known as paresthesia. Then uh, tension headaches, depression, sleep issues, anxiety, sensitivity to heat, cold, light and sound, problems with urination, painful menstruation, irritable bowel syndrome, memory issues, restless leg syndrome. Now, the main question. Are there links between endometriosis and fibromyalgia? Although there isn't a concrete cause for fibromyalgia, but some believe that there could be a problem with how the brain and spine understand pain signals. But here I'm focusing on the link between endo and fibro. So um, a study explains how fibromyalgia amongst other conditions is more common in those with endometriosis. I will link the study in the description box in case you're interested. The problem is once you have endometriosis, your risk of developing autoimmune disorders increases. And because many such conditions have overlapping symptoms, it can be hard to decipher which particular condition is the cause of your symptoms. So um, uh, medical news today say, and I am going to quote them, uh, quote them now. Experts do not classify endometriosis as an autoimmune disease. However, endometriosis may increase a person's risk of developing an autoimmune disease as well as other chronic conditions. The reason for the link is unclear, but it might exist because endometriosis causes inflammation, which may contribute to an imbalanced immune response." Unquote. And so an imbalanced immune response may cause the body to attack itself, which is classified as an autoimmune disease. 
If we just imagine and try to put together the fact that endometriosis causes debilitating pain and fibromyalgia causes skin and muscular sensitivity, along with tenderness, lack of sleep, fatigue, and so much more, you're looking at someone who could have frequent moments and continuous days of struggle as they get stuck into the vicious cycle of pain, poor sleep, more pain, anxiety, nervousness, tingling sensations, lack of sleep, fatigue, menstrual cramps, IBS, poor sleep, pain, ugh, all with no end in sight. This whole experience isn't very pleasant, but we do need to figure out how best to treat it to help improve the quality of our life. So please watch out for next week's video where I speak about how we should treat fibromyalgia if we have endometriosis. But frankly, even if you don't have endometriosis, the information collected is beneficial if you're looking to focus on fibromyalgia alone. If you have found this information helpful, then please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you feel I have missed out on something, then please do let me know in the comment section below. I'd, I'd love to learn more. Also, if you would like to share your experiences of coping with endometriosis and fibromyalgia, then the comment section is all yours. I'm always happy to hear from all of you. And thank you so much for being so supportive and sticking around and watching and doing all of those really nice things. So thank you. Bye-bye.